the fastest and easiest way to complete collections, get the best cards in the game. And they'll be the show 23 stubs U4GM. Link is in the description. Let's go. Today, I'm going to go over how to pitch in MLB The Show 23. Now, make sure that you stay tuned to this channel. I will be giving you updated roster investments over the next few days. Every other day is my new upload schedule. Okay, so to make content stay fresh and I don't get burnt out by the game every other day. So an upload today means that the roster investments will come out saturday so stay tuned hit that subscribe button turn your notifications on so the first thing i want to do is i want to take away my opponent's ability to be able to time up the fastball so as you can see when you are putting your pitches in play make sure that you are practicing on being able to hit edges what i mean by that is if you miss your spot you want to make sure that it is a low contact swing. So if you are doing breaking balls, uh, off speed, cutters, anything like that, that is a little slower than a fastball, make sure that you are trying to hit the corners. That's how this game is. It's not about pitching in real life. It's about taking advantage of the mechanics in the game. So as you can see right now, I am giving my opponent a lot of off speed pitches. I don't want him to get comfortable. Oh, two count right here i'm gonna give him a pitch that looks like a fastball out of the hand and then it's gonna go to the outside a slider so let's look at this again looking at this down the middle looks like it's coming a fastball out of the hand okay now at the last second it starts to sweep to the outside and it gets my opponent to make bad swing on the ball now right here i am using uh Juwan Markle. So he has the screwball. He has a lot of off speed pitches and then about a 95 to 96 miles per hour fastball. Now with this sequence, I came with a slow pitch, went up to the top with a fastball so I can set them up for the changeup. Okay. So once they get that fastball, they want to make sure that they are on top of the fastball. So I'm going to be able to get him to swing early each and every time. Now, right there, he's getting a little smart. He said, I'm going to take some pitches. I'm going to let a certain sequence go by, and then I'm going to wait for the fastball. So now the screwball goes in to the left. The curveball comes in to the right. And now I'm about to hit him out the zone because it's two strikes. I'm going to make it go across the middle of the plate and look like a strike, but it's going to drop off. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that my par is going to come across the zone in front of his face, but then drop out of the zone. Okay, so he took a couple pitches and he was waiting on an easier pitch to hit. So right here, I have never hit him with back-to-back -back fastball, so that's what I'm going to give him. Boom, fastball. Now we're going to go top of the zone. Okay, he hasn't seen two fastballs in a row. His mind is saying it has to be an off-speed pitch the second time around. It is a fastball that rises up. So now he's like, I have to be on time with this fastball. Perfect setup for the change up low in the zone to drop outside and we get another strikeout. Let's look at that again. So we got the fastball coming at the top of the zone. I haven't doubled that up all game. We are in the third inning. I am up one to zero. He hasn't seen this sequence. Two fastballs in a row. This is what everyone is waiting on because it's easy to time up a fastball if it's not outlier. So two fastballs in a row. His mind is saying, okay, so I got the timing on the fastball. I got to be early on this next pitch because I've been late two times in a row. He hasn't seen two times in a row. So it's a good chance he's thinking maybe it's going to be a third time in a row. So we're going to make this pitch come through the middle of the plate, as you can see right there, but it's going to drop off at only 70 miles per hour compared to the 95, 96 miles per hour fastball. The fastest and easiest way to complete collections, get the best cards in the game. And they'll be the show 23 stubs U4GM. Link is in the description. Let's go.